Welcome to the Today Show. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Jay Stoyan. Today it's all about music. Music makes the world go round. So today you're going to see, after we come back from our commercial break, you're going to see our music show called Wild Child Records. We're very excited about this new show that is all about showcasing independent and mainstream artists. Again, it could be Ronnie Hawkins to Sil Simone as they're both friends of the show, friends of the platform. Everybody loves music. Music is such a Zen factor. So when we come back, you're going to be watching our show called Wild Child Records, where we're going to be interviewing one of Toronto's leading guitar players, a legend, a legend. He's played with people like Tom Cochran. Uh, he's played with Lee Aaron. He played with Tribe. He played with everybody. So when we come back, you're going to watch this. But I'm going to leave you with this. There's two things that we're going to be doing on the music show, upcoming music shows. We are going to be having a guest panel and talking about Get Back. I can even not talk about Get Back. I mean, let's talk for a second about the Beatles. I mean, the pioneer band of the world, you know, like there's nobody who set the trend better than the Beatles. But watching Get Back, you just appreciate them so much more like i was telling we were watching it and i was saying you know if this was four guys named joe bob sue and mike you would uh you i don't know if you'd be tuning in too much but when it was the four beatles talking they could be talking about gobbledygook which they were a lot of the times but it was fascinating and then when you saw them create the shows when i saw Paul McCartney, like everybody else, create Get Back and just started humming and da 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 da. It was just like, wow. Like, just like, I don't know, like crazy. So, Get Back. And then I also, we're, we're big on quizzes, big on surveys. And I want to hear from you what year do you think is number one in music? And I guess it would be either because of the hits or the most memorable songs that still ring in your head every day. So let me know, I got my pick, and uh, I'll give you right now. My pick would be, I think, off the top of my head, 1978. 1978 was just a remarkable year for hits and memorable songs. I'd like to hear what year you think is number one. So when we get back, stay tuned. You're going to see a special presentation from Wild Child Records. I'm Jay Stoyne. Thank you for tuning in. Hello world, it is Unstoppable Tracy with the Disability Channel inviting you to subscribe and watch live on Roku TV, on YouTube, on Restream, and also listen in in Wisconsin Radio, Dave Stevens, all around the world. And on top of all of this, really proud to announce that we now also have a mobile app so you can download for free, watch Roku TV for free, and the mobile app is free too from Google Drive. Be sure to download it and have it at your fingertips at all times. There's a job platform and there's a live chat feature and there's the TV feature with Roku TV and there's also the social media channels. Take care folks, bye for now. Jay Stoyan here for Wild Child Records. We're out here outside the studio of legendary guitar player Sil Simone. We're about to go into his studio and hear about his illustrious career. Come on in with me. We are here in Sil Simone's studio. Sil, thanks for having us Adios. today. How you doing? This is amazing. We just came in from the outside. We're in my world. You just gave us a little bit of a treat. We love it here. Again, you're watching Wild Child Records. I'm Jay Stoyan. What we're going to do is we're going to take you through this guy's career. Oh boy. So Sil, thanks for joining us today. We know that you're uh, a name about town. You're a legendary Toronto performer. You've been performing for over probably three decades now. At so least. why don't we go through in a past, present, future, all, sure. all types of questions, nostalgia, of guitars. I know you have like a, over a dozen guitars here, all with stories attached. Oh yeah. So let's get started, Sil. All right, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, I know you were saying off the air that you've been playing your whole life. So we're going to I got my first guitar when I was four years old. You take it away. Tell my me dad, a little jump you know, ahead. My yeah. dad, uh, you know, uh, 
my parents immigrated from Italy in like 1954. They got married here. And uh, I came into the world uh, like 1960. <laughs> and um, my dad was a huge music lover. My dad uh, worked in construction, you know, like all yeah. the Italians. Yeah. And my mom was a stay-at-home mom. And uh, my dad was a music lover. And... Um, my, I have an older brother, Jerry, and uh, one day uh, a guy came around the house like they used to do in those days, knocking on the door. Let's see if any of your kids got musical aptitudes. So nice. Of course, they take the oldest one, and they set him up with accordion lessons. And of course, you know, and accordion. thank God I was born second. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been... Uh, uh, I told my dad, I want to play the drums. You know, I'm like three years old. I just want to bash it. But uh, no, I think guitar, you know, and I, I love the guitar, so he got me my guitar. Um, when I was born. This is the one that appears in this, these pictures here. So we have some pictures here back on yeah. the computer. We're going to be looking at yeah, some, I mean, some pictures along the way. And there I am right there. there. There's, there's like, I'm That's probably great. like four or five here in my suit. That was my first guitar. My dad, you know, one of those play pianos. And that stuff is like so this. cool. And then I started goofing around on that guitar. It was like a Stella, um, not very good guitar. So take it me now to your to now your later. Teens. Okay, so now I, I leave. I graduate from high school. Yeah, and I was either going to go, maybe the university and college, but I was a, I wanted to go on the road and play. You so, wanted to play. You yeah, and by the time I was in like grade 12, 13, I was up in Malton playing with these guys. I mean, that's where Elfie got his Elfie Zappacosta at this music school. Yeah, um, Ted Jones Music, I believe, at the Malton Mall. Anyways, I hooked up with these guys there. Still friends with a lot of those guys. And uh, we had a band. We called it Backlash. We called it... We, we had so many names. Uh, and we went on the road in northern Ontario. Making nothing but playing rock music. Now, we thought we were doing... Like, we were playing, like, Scorpion stuff. Before the Scorpions were really, a, like, a pop act. The, the early stuff with Erlen Roth yeah. and heavy rock and stuff. And we'd roll into these towns like our first gig was in Nipigon, Ontario. Wow! At like you know the Queen's Hotel, they were all Queen's Hotel. Queen, yeah. And uh, we thought we were the like the bomb, right? But they wanted to hear like Bob Seger or something, right? And we were laying in this stuff. You guys are too loud and whatever. Oh yeah. All, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Played in you know Thunder Bay, like Blind River. We got to see a lot of the country, you know. How much, like, as a, I guess you were qualified, you're a musician oh, now, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So how much, like, how much did you love it at 18 or 19? Like, was it just, like, the best ever? <coughs> it was an adventure. Yeah? How we didn't die in that five-ton, it wasn't even a five-ton truck. It was like a panel truck loaded with big bass bins, everything. We kind of put five guys in that truck, a used Ford, it's not a five-ton truck. It wasn't that big. It was smaller than that. We put all our gear in there and traveled. Well, I think and um, I think the Doobie Brothers said that if if you've never experienced, you know, a station wagon, a van, yeah. oh, all yeah, the team, all then you, then then you're not you don't really oh, yeah. get it. You don't really get it. Yeah, you gotta pay and, your dues, and just right? traveling and going to places in small towns, and we were kind of these sl city slickers guys. And we had a black singer, Jamie Cooper, you know, which was unheard of, singing rock music, you That's know? That's great. And, um... You say Tony, uh, Springer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, and, and, and so we'd play all these places, and, you know, we, we invested everything into the show, so we're like, you know... Uh, and, that, and that's and we you know we did that for a while and that kind of lasted. Then when that band kind of ended, I I kind of um, I played in Lee Aaron when she Ooh. was. Um, before let's hold that. Let's hold that thought. Let's right. take a quick break. All right. We're here with the legendary guitar player Sil Simone. What we're doing right now, this is golden because I, I'm, for myself, I find it so interesting to talk to successful musicians, athletes, people in their own field. Mm -hmm. But how did you get there? Let's hear yeah. about the journey. Okay. And this is what we're doing right now. We're going through the journey. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with Wild Child Records. Are you currently on ODSP? If you're interested in social media marketing, TV production, podcasting, or getting off assistance, 
please contact Jay Stoyan at 647-339-6847 or Jay at the disabilitychannel.ca. The Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. Hi, this is Rocky Blyer, and you're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. We're sitting here with legendary guitar player Sil Simone. We were just about to get into Lee, uh, Lee Aaron's, uh, I guess, uh, era. Yeah, era. So there you go. Kick it off. Okay, so by this time, I'm totally guitar addict. You know, playing guitar, Roy Clark stuff, everything I could lay my hands on. You know, I studied a little bit of classical, a little bit of this, really loved rock music. Anyways, had this original band, we wrote tunes, but we, we just did original music. We really couldn't find the singer we wanted, you know, we're always looking for the magical singer, yeah. you know, who's the next Robert Plant or something like this in those days. But anyways, but then um, um, I had skills and so I, I joined Liera. Now Lee, uh, she was just a kid at the time, 18. I was 21, the oldest guy in the band. And uh, we played through Quebec. Northern Ontario, we were doing Pat Benadryl covers, heart covers, and, uh, you know, played with her. And then from there, from there I started a band uh, called Simon Chase with a guy by the name of Anthony uh, Comparelli. And uh, we were managed by the, a lawyer for Triumph at the time, okay. uh, Ross Monroe. And we, you know, we entered a song in the Q107 Homegrown Contest. And, like, I think we came second or third, and that gave us some notoriety. We did a video. We did an album. Oh, nice. And Rick Emmett produced the record. So that's how my relationship with Rick started. And, anyway, so that band went around. We did some videos. You know, they're on, um, um, they're on uh, YouTube and stuff. Yep. And uh, that band played for a couple of years. We did the first record. Really not, never got to a second record, because by the time that happened, Rick went solo. Okay. Now, but before he went solo, he was still in Triumph, and um, I started doing a lot of work with Rick because he was producing our record, and I was a guitar player, and I could play classical guitar. We, you know, we had the same kind of musical interest. And then when Rick left Triumph, uh, he needed to put a band together, and he wanted a second guitar player because he wanted to branch more into uh, being a singer-songwriter type guy. So I got to play. Like, Rick was... Like, I, without Rick... <laughs> You know, I mean, Rick was so good to me. His family, I'm still great friends with him. You know, it was a real band playing real shows where people were paying money to come and see us line up so outside. So cool, so exciting. And I got to shred and play rock music and with a guy that could sing. And from there, yeah. you know, that really got me kind of known about town, you know, and, uh, and because, so and because to, he gave me all these features. So too. before we go on to yeah. the next big stepping mm -hmm. stone, then we're going to come back. Stay tuned. You're watching Wild Child Records. We're here with Sil Simone. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Brad May, and you're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. Please stay tuned. do you practice so every day right every day right i'm on the guitar a lot a lot eh how many hours a day say? Well, whenever depends you can on the day depends what i'm doing that day it could be 10 hours it could be two hours you know i mean you must have a wonderful wife yeah well i mean <laughs> that's what i do right yeah. i mean people go to work they spend eight ten this hours you, to, you know like so this is no do. different right this is but what you do i'm here right so it's good i mean depends like depends on the workload yeah what i got coming up like say I'm rehearsing for a symphony show with Brass Transit next week in uh, Augusta, Georgia. So I'm working on those tunes, making sure they, you know, we're all in sync, prepare all the vocals. And, and that's fusion, You know, that's right? like a two-hour show. So if you do it, if you go over every song three times, you know, you're already up to like six hours. That's great. Just working on one thing. And then I'm, I work for a producer by the name of uh, Kiro Shirkov. And we do all the music, well, he does, and I do all the guitar work for him, for all the health clubs around the world. Oh, really? Yeah, so, um, and it's a company based out of New Zealand and stuff, and he produces all the tracks, and what he does is um, exact replicas. So, like, when you're in a, 
even here, you're at Good Life, mm -hmm. and you're hearing Nickelback or one of these bands. It's not Nickelback. It's a sound alike. Oh, okay. Because they save on royalties. Mm -hmm. So the band still gets the royalties, but if they had to use the original music, um, it cost a lot and more. And that's where you step in, right? Yeah. So um, he he is the, the producer. He does all those tunes. It, and it's everything from electronic mm -hmm. dance. We're doing, we got four tunes on the menu right now. A couple of tunes from Funkadelic. Okay. And another kind of new kind of pop song uh, thing. So, you know, um, you know, I got to prep that stuff and busy, busy, eh? busy, busy, busy. Plus, you know, I work for other guys too. I'm, I'm doing, I'm involved with uh, this producer, Joey Greco. We just finished a video for another song he wrote. And so I'm part of a kind of a collective of um, using different musicians let's talk and a little stuff bit called Soniacs. Let's, uh, let's jump and talk a little bit about what your new release is now, because I know you've been all uh, Yeah, I've been doing my own stuff yeah. from Mississippi Crawl. I got Levon. I got I got a whole bunch coming, too. Um, Talking Red, and we're just compiling. And I haven't really been even shopping them. I'm compiling them, organizing them. I do a video for everyone and just putting them out there and just building kind of the catalog. Can people go to your website and check it Absolutely. out? What's your website still? Silsimone.com. You know? That's great. So S I L S I M O N E. I want to I want to thank you so today. It was a All wonderful right. conversation. We can go on forever. I'm going to have the show back because we didn't oh, even yeah. get into his guitars and the history oh, and God. some of the bars. Before I let you go oh, though, yeah. so if there's so if there's young musicians out there, old musicians out there right. that are just starting, give it a little bit of you advice, inspiration. You know what I say to them? Oh, if you have the will and the love you need the will what we in italian call la voglia you know if you want to learn it's a tricky thing it's it's not easy when i started off i mean i had certain facilities but you know it's challenging depending on how far you're in it but i i tell people just have fun with it start with simple chords have fun with it make music i mean don't worry about i mean the theory and the scales and the harmony is truly all important but remember you know one chord. Yeah. And you can make something with it. This is great. I love this stuff. So, two if, chords like C and G that if people anybody want to knows. check you out, go to your website. But if you're playing around town, can they go and check you out anytime yeah, soon? Anytime. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. I mean, well, Some I'm regulars. on the road a bit. I'm playing with um, Brass Transit now. So, I'm working a lot in America. Okay. So, we fly out for three, four days and... And that's starting to boot up again, obviously, since COVID. Yeah. We've been decimated, you know. I'm glad we didn't even talk about COVID. You know. I'm I mean, glad we didn't talk about it. We, didn't, we talked music. I hope you just enjoyed. We just had an interview, a dynamic interview with Sil Simone. You're watching Wild Child Records. This show is going to showcase independent artists, main street artists, the story behind the guitar, the story behind the drums, how musicians give back during fundraisers. Of course, the sweet sound. And before I let you go, I want to make a super exciting announcement as we're going to be introducing our latest member to our music team, Kay Parker. Kay Parker is a sensation out there. She sings, she plays, she has a direct link to our ability community. So we're very excited to bring on Kay Parker. You're going to be seeing her in up, up, uh, upcoming shows. You're watching Wild Child Records. I'm Jay Stoyan. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it, I appreciate you guys 
having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. throughout the GTA showcasing new music releases and updates from all four parts of the globe. Hi, I'm Eric Mondras. You're watching the Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. I'm Zach Damon, host of the Disability Channel Detroit. Please join us at the Disability Channel and watch the Disability Channel Detroit for all your Michigan disability information. Hi, I'm Christopher Guzak from the Disability Channel. Please become a TDC ambassador today. To join, please go to www.thedisabilitychannel.ca.